This is not science fiction. Sci-fi weapons have been popular since science fiction first gained popularity. Star Wars is the biggest sci-fi franchise that has hinted at new weapons. Your beloved lightsabers have been a staple of the Star Wars universe for half a century. But many of these amazing weapons have never existed in the real world until now. Of course, many of these remain works of fiction, but some are moving closer to the truth. The American military is already developing sophisticated weaponry. The U.S. Air Force now has a top secret weapon, and they're already close to being used. What is this futuristic weapon that the U.S. Air Force has created? Is this the upcoming super weapon for the American Army? Let's find out. The American military already possesses a number of crude anti-space weapons. The SM-3 missile, for instance, is used by the U.S. Navy and was initially created to destroy approaching ballistic missile warheads. Warheads from ballistic missiles briefly follow the same path as satellites in low Earth orbit. It came in handy in 2008 when the Navy destroyed USA-193, a dormant surveillance satellite from the American National Reconnaissance Office, using an SM-3. Interceptor missiles are typically used to counter overhead threats, but as they become more common, U.S. troops are increasingly forced to employ expensive weaponry to do so. A big war could not continue with that kind of unfavorable cost exchange relationship, because the defenses would wear down before the attackers did. In the Vietnam War, lasers were the first combat tool used by American military forces to designate targets for laser-guided bombs. Since then, these gadgets have been employed to estimate a target's distance, signal, and communicate and interfere with the optical equipment of adversarial forces. The laser has also been employed occasionally just to terrify adversaries. U.S. forces can scare off bad guys at night by placing visible laser aiming spots on their chests. Yet laser technology has advanced significantly. They will no longer be used just to support lethal weapons or non-lethal devices. Lasers alone are now capable of dealing heavy damage. The U.S. Army has created one of the most cutting-edge weapons that have come along in quite some time. It's called the Tactical Ultra Short Pulsed Laser for Army Platforms. The laser is a million times more powerful than any other laser ever created. This weapon, similar to a machine gun, can rapidly discharge pulses that vaporize metal. It can readily disrupt enemy tech communications and vaporize its targets. The Ultra Short Pulsed Laser functions similarly to other sci-fi film weaponry. The U.S. military has already developed laser weapons that are able to damage nearby vehicles or drones by drilling holes through metal. The new weapon, on the other hand, is significantly more powerful weaponry, powerful enough to evaporate rather than melt metal. The new laser uses extremely brief pulses that can self-focus as they travel, similar to the blaster shots seen in the Star Wars movies. This allows it to hit much farther away targets without losing energy. It fires between 20 and 50 pulses per second. Although there have previously been lasers with military uses, this one is based on brief pulses that release minimal energy. In addition to developing a laser that is more potent in and of itself, the military is also attempting to give the weapon an electromagnetic pulse EMP effect. The idea is that when the lasers hit metal, they rapidly accelerate electrons powerful enough to interfere with neighboring electronics. But despite sounding impossible, all of this is realistic and doable because of the technology that already exists today. The Army is getting ready for a future battlefield where forces are quickly modernizing while new threats and gaps are appearing. Meanwhile, several kinds of lasers are now used by the military. A report claims that Lockheed Martin is trying to make its Helios laser smaller so that it would fit aboard a future fighter jet. The Navy has also started fitting laser-based weaponry to its destroyers. Therefore, one thing is certain, air power is going to change as a result of these military lasers. Lasers can engage a million-dollar cruise missile for a fraction of the cost since they use energy rather than kinetic systems as their kill mechanism. They can kill dozens of targets without losing any capability because they don't use up expensive technology with each shot. Additionally, they instantly and at the speed of light hit their designated targets, about 300,000 kilometers per second. Moreover, it is possible to follow assailants using the same beam technology that is used to kill them. This is made feasible by the organization of visible or infrared light by high energy lasers into coherent beams that are precisely focused and maintain their intensity across long distances. A missile eventually runs out of propellant, 
which causes it to lose speed, unlike lasers. Lasers can attack targets thousands of kilometers from afar with little energy loss in a vacuum-like space. Thus, military experts have long wished to use laser weapons on the front lines. Several other beam technologies, most notably high-power microwaves, are also in development. What are weapons powered by microwaves, and how do they operate? High-power microwave HPM weapons use concentrated electromagnetic radiation beams, frequencies between 500 MHz and 3 GHz, that are capable of destroying enemy infrastructure, disabling electronic systems, and disarming air defense networks. These weapons can discharge energy in the form of microwaves, laser beams we mentioned earlier, plasma, or sonic rays, and are also known as Directed Energy Weapons DEW. Fundamentally speaking, microwaves are a type of electromagnetic radiation. Microwaves have wavelengths between 1 meter and 1 millimeter. Just by considering your microwave and how rapidly it heats up your food or beverages, you can kind of tell that microwaves can cause a lot of damage. By generating heat and delivering energy scattered as molecular rotations, it achieves this. However, microwaves can be used to transmit power over long distances, and this is the principle on which proposed microwave weapons would also operate. Your microwave weapon only functions in a small enclosure. Microwave weapons are created to jumble the target's electronics in milliseconds, so that, for example, their seekers fail. In contrast to lasers, which employ heat as their kill mechanism to damage hostile missiles and aircraft. Microwave weapons are less discriminating than laser weapons, despite having the same advantages of speed of light, low cost, and an endless magazine. As a result, they raise the risk of collateral harm, even though they might be more dangerous than high-energy lasers in some situations. Contrarily, laser weapons are the most accurate ever designed. They will only be effective against their intended targets if defenders know exactly where to point them. Meanwhile, how fast high-energy lasers might be incorporated into tactical and strategic U.S. defenses is an issue that will be helped by the research contract given to Lockheed Martin. Yet as time goes on, the laser research that Lockheed pioneered is paving the way for brand new operational ideas. There may come a time when laser weapons in low Earth orbit provide a practical way to quickly deflect strategic missile assaults coming from China or Russia. That would fundamentally alter nuclear deterrence strategy and significantly reduce the potency of nuclear threats from Moscow. Nevertheless, long before that happens, lasers are likely to be used on the traditional battlefield as a dependable, low-cost method of intercepting a variety of overhead threats, including drones, missiles, aircraft, and hypersonic weapons. When it comes to beam weapons, Lockheed Martin appears to be at the forefront of the field. The company describes its laser work as just one aspect of company efforts to forge new paths for 21st century security. All of these initiatives show that the time of quick kill systems for safeguarding friendly forces has come after decades of anticipation. What do you think of these futuristic weapons? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.